Over a long period, NASA has launched probes and telescopes into space, but none has managed to amaze as much as the James Webb Telescope. Despite their high cost and delays, none of the previous telescopes have raised expectations in the same way. Right now, however, the new advanced telescope has made a truly astonishing discovery regarding a phenomenon known as a warp bubble, which has the potential to have significant repercussions. But what exactly is a warp bubble? Join us on this interstellar journey to learn more about this discovery. A warp bubble refers to an anomaly in space-time that could allow the possibility of travel at speeds faster than the speed of light. This raises the question of why we should be concerned about it. Exploring the depths in the discovery has baffled scientists. We realized that, to the best of our knowledge, it was thought that nothing could travel faster than light in a vacuum. This restriction is not simply a technological limitation, but a fundamental feature of the universe according to the fundamental principles of Einstein's theories of relativity. It is possible to perform a type of cheating that goes against the legal rules. An example of this can be found in the Star Trek series where warp engines were used. Imagine you are at the edge of a galaxy and you want to get to the other side. To achieve this, you turn on the warp engines which manipulate the space-time continuum in this way. You manage to be at the desired point instantly crossing the curved space-time instead of traveling the full distance. This concept is legitimate in a sense since we know that it is possible to curve space and time. By controlling this curvature, it will allow you to reach destinations much faster than the speed of light exceeding the limits of a beam of light. The use of warp engines would be incredible, as it would allow such travel. However, that is not all there is to it. There is an additional concept that describes the path you take to get from one point to another in space-time, known as a wormhole. A wormhole acts as a portal in the fabric of space-time, allowing you to travel instantaneously from one place in the universe to another. As you increase the available energy, you can bend wider sections of the universe, which would allow you to travel great distances quickly. I think, if we truly want to travel between stars, explore our galaxy, or even visit other galaxies, we would have to find ways to harness wormholes and manipulate the curvature of space-time to do so. This could be an effective method to overcome the vast distances in space and explore beyond our current limits. Our challenge lies in the fact that our fastest spacecraft would require about 50,000 years to reach the nearest star to the Sun. Although the star is relatively close compared to the vast scale of the galaxy, space is a vast territory with numerous points of interest to explore. In this vast environment, we find countless stars, galaxies, exoplanets, black holes, and more. As a species, humans are intrinsically curious and have a natural desire to understand their surroundings, both near and far. This is the reason for our concern about what we might discover in outer space. Could there be really the possibility that there are cosmic life forms even more intelligent than us in some the corner of the universe? Could we find an exoplanet that supports life in some way? The biggest challenge we face in space exploration is the immense distance that separates every corner of the universe. To put it in perspective, even if we consider Mars, our neighbor, would be colonists under Elon Musk's plans would have to endure more than five months of travel through deep space before reaching their new home on Mars. But what if we, our ambition is to head for the closest exoplanet to Earth, Proxima b? Unfortunately, this dream is beyond the current capabilities of technology. Proxima b lies at a distance of 4.24 light years. This distance implies that the nearest exoplanet is approximately 36 billion kilometers away from us. Unfortunately, this magnitude of distance is not feasible to overcome with current technologies. The potential inherent in warp engines could trigger a real revolution in the way we approach space travel. Let's begin by understanding what a warp bubble consists of. Although this topic involves advanced mathematical concepts, we can present a fundamental description. A warp bubble denotes a region of space that experiences forward contraction and backward expansion. These cycles of expansion and contraction could theoretically propel the bubble and its content forward at speeds greater than the speed of light, while still adhering to the fundamental principles of physics. When you move inside a warp bubble, you are technically not exceeding the speed of light, 
Rather, you are traversing inside a condensed space that forms the bubble. The wonderful effect around the warp bubble stems from their ability to overcome a major obstacle to faster than light travel, time dilatation. How does it work in simple terms? If you manage to travel faster than light, relatively to the outside of your ship, you would experience considerable time acceleration. A trip lasting many years using warp engines could be reduced to a few hours. Therefore, warp bubbles solve this challenge by keeping the surrounding space unchanged inside the bubble. This feature of warp travel is recognized by fans of Star Trek series. The concept of warp travel is a recurring element in the universe of multiple television series and movies since their inception in 1966. Characters in these stories explore the cosmos via spaceships and engage in interactions with various alien species. The heart of this narrative revolves around the warp drive, as the plot would be meaningless without it. Given the vast and mysterious universe, especially when considering the possibility of reaching the next star, the vast cosmic distances pose an almost unsurmountable challenge. For example, Proxima Centauri is 4.5 light years away, even if we could travel at the speed of light, which is the fastest cosmic limit and a kind of universal speed, the trip would take 4.5 years. The fastest space probe, Parker Solar Probe, would need almost 8,000 years to traverse interstellar space. Therefore, it makes more sense to stay close to Earth and its surroundings. Star Trek ventured beyond these limitations thanks to a creative solution they found in their story. The solution allows for long-distance travel by reducing the distance through the use of the warp engine. This warp drive provides captivating entertainment, and although it was initially considered a fictitious element, a scientist finally identified its potential at the end of the last century. In 1994, Miguel Alcubierre introduced the warp speed concept, a novel idea that maintained the fundamentals of Einstein's general relativity while proposing the possibility of faster-than-light travel. Miguel Alcubierre, a leading physicist, was the mastermind behind this groundbreaking theory, which emerged while exploring the principles of Einstein's general theory of relativity. This inspiration was born after watching an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. Alcubierre's calculations led to the publication of an article in Science Magazine that same year. In this article, Alcubierre detailed how it would be possible to compress space-time in front of a spacecraft and expand it behind it, generating a kind of torsion bubble. This torsion bubble would allow a shorter distance to the destination inside it. Do you think that someday we will succeed in developing warp engines? Let us know your opinions in the comments box. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked the video, and subscribe if you are not already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.